Hey guys, it's Johnny again. Right, this video is going to be um, bands that I have really lost interest in. Uh, I did this a while back, um, but these are bands that, because of the last few albums, a couple of albums or whatever, I really do not follow their stuff anymore. I don't follow any of the updates that get put onto the internet. I don't even, not even interested in any of their stuff. Um, apart from their, as uh, Metal Mike put it um, in one of his last videos, their heyday. Um, and that was the inspiration for this video. And um, there's some bands that, yes, I do prefer the heyday but I still listen to their stuff and enjoy their stuff but this was uh, gonna be um, <clears throat> the albums that just I've I really have lost um, a lot of interest in these bands um, and there's one in here that people might get be a bit shocked about but um, I really did not connect much with this album at all. Um, so we're going to get that one out of the way first. Um, and it is Def Leppard's um, 2015 album. Um, just titled Def Leppard. Yes, there was three songs on here that I loved. Ish. Uh, and the rest I just did not click at all with it. Um, this is the uh, this was the one that came on the magazine, the classic rock magazine, I think it was. When I bought it, um, and uh, yeah, just I love I love you know obviously the heyday. And I love about 70% of the 90s. I love about 40% of the noughties. And but about 10% of the uh, this decade. Um, it's just sort of gone for me uh, nosedived um, I am still really excited to see him in Def Lep uh, in December <laughs> what I say, Def Lep um, and because they're going to be playing Hysteria um, track listing so that is the reason and I've always wanted to see him anyway so um so this album cannot put me off just going to see because of... If they were playing all of this album, I wouldn't want to go. But, um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, definitely go and see because of the uh, Hysteria's 30th anniversary from last year. Um, and they're still doing the tour, so... Um, I don't know what extra songs they'll be playing. In this set list, I haven't bothered to check what they've played in um, in any YouTube videos of uh, last year and this year. But um, that's the only reason why I really want to see them. Um, but yeah, if it if it was anything with just these songs and uh, a few of the uh, heyday stuff. I don't think I'd really be that bothered about going. So, um, but yeah, I, if anything pops up about Def Leppard now, I very rarely click on it to watch it, um, unless it's something to do with the history of the band. So, um, I don't really want to know about the songs off of that album. Um, and then we go on to the next band. Uh, love this band um, 
from about 93 when Animals with Human Intelligence came out. Uh, the band is Enough's Enough. Um, I have all their albums. Um, this is the last great one because it had Donny V on vocals. This was out in 2010. Um, and now obviously he's not in the band. Um, he's solo. I like what he does solo. I still buy that. But I don't buy any Enough's Enough new stuff. Um, there is one, there is an album that's got some of his stuff on. I think he does sing on some of it. That's newer than this, but it's not a, uh, I don't think it's a, it's, it's old as, I think it's just old stuff that's been redone, or reissued, um, that wasn't released. I think that's the case, I can't remember. But I will buy that, um, but I won't buy any Enough's Enough that's just got, anything that's got um, just Chips Enough and the other guys, I it really doesn't interest me. And Chips Enough I really have got a bit of a disliking for that guy over the years. So, But yeah, Donny V, back in Enough's Enough would be amazing. So, um, another guy that could sing the telephone book and I'd still buy it. Um, this one might shock a few people, um, but it's due to these two records being released. Uh, one is this album and this live one. This is Unruly Child. Um, I've really, I like Marcy Free singing, or previously she was uh, Mark Free. Um, and I've loved the King Cobra stuff. The Signal is the Signal would be the best record that Mark Free, Marcy Free, sang on. Um, so if no one's ever listened to the Signal record, go out and buy it. Signal, it's called Loud and Clear. Uh, absolutely amazing. Better than. Um, I'd say it's better than the first on Really Child album, and that's awesome as well. Um, but yeah, and I'd say it's better, well, better than uh, King Cobra's debut as well. Um, but yeah, um, I really didn't click with this like I did with the album before. Um, I really didn't click with it. And then when they toured, um when they did when they were live this year this year I'm just trying to think what the date was I can't remember now it might have been the end of it might have been the end of last year I think it was the end of last year they did this show in Milan I'm just checking the date now it's because I haven't kept on top of it, um, doesn't sound there. But when this came out, I was so disappointed that they didn't put any any of the newer songs on it. Um, not necessarily from "Can't Go Home," which I just showed you, but from the album before. Um, this was mainly all the old stuff and I'd heard those songs so many times that I was like I didn't really want to listen to that, I wanted a mixture um, and um, when Frontiers did this and did the uh, all the overdubs on it which are terrible um, this felt like I, I felt very ripped off buying that and uh, I've listened to it once and I won't listen to it again it will stay in my collection just as be there it won't nothing else will it won't ever get played again um, and then another band yes I do really want this band at the moment 
um, to uh, come back and do something but my interest in them has weaned quite a bit yes I love the heyday obviously um, and that is uh, ACDC um, this is the last album of theirs that I have 2014's Rock or Bust um, do not adjust your sh set that is what the cover does <laughs> Um, or do not adjust your phone if you're watching it still in uh, the 21st century <laughs> um, but yeah but yeah I would like them to come back and do something but at the moment with Axel Rose uh, being on vocals I ain't interested and there's no cliff um, obviously we cannot resurrect uh, Malcolm so um, we've got no no control over that but um, yes if Brian comes back Phil Rod and Angus that would do it for, that'd be okay for me so there you go uh, next band and I ha honestly, I have not listened to their latest album. So, people are going to be shouting at the screen, going, "John, you must listen to it. It's better than you. It's better than those crappy albums you're going to show." But I think after these two albums, I really lost interest in the band. Uh, and when I did listen to one of their songs, I did. I did just think, I've said it before, I thought their songs just sound, don't sound, they just, vocally they just don't do it for me anymore, um, and that is Metallica, and I've just showed the shittiest albums they've ever released, uh, <laughs> I could have picked up Reload and Load, um, but yeah as well but I thought I only need to show two um, yeah after shelling out money for these it would take have to take a lot for me to shell out for the, uh, the next album I really have lost interest in the band interest in their music interest in uh, just James's vocal style, <laughs> um, and also that he has to swear in the songs just to um, make them sound ferocious <laughs> or have some attitude. Well, that's crap. Um, but yeah, yeah. My my appreciation of Metallica ended with the Black Album. So yeah, right. Um, next band by the way I've, I should have said I've got one, two three four, five, six seven, eight bands and uh, the next one is um, this band Motley Crue um, after oh, if you just noticed there was a, a blip in my video, I don't know if I've tried to connect this onto um, the video just before my memory on my phone dies or oh, ran out. Um, yeah, so this band since uh, that something tattoo album, uh, my interest in the band went downwards a bit. Uh, I love the heyday. Um, I bought this, listened to it about twice, and went, oh, uh, so yeah, that was uh, the killing of Motley Crue for me. The last great song they ever came out with was If I Die Tomorrow, 
and that would be it. Um, that was a, that when that song came out, I was into this band still quite a lot. Um, but over the years, it's just gone. So yeah, Motley Crue. If anything pops up of theirs, I've actually unfollowed their stuff. That's how much um, my love for this band has gone downhill. Um, I think it's just because I'm fed up of seeing Pamela Anderson and Br and Tommy Lee and their son arguing it out on the social media. I think that might be why. <laughs> why as well. And Vince Neil just cannot sing live, so at all, at all. Uh, and he's not as old as some of the guys that do sing, still um, go out and sing, so, and band, so. Um, right, next band. Um, this one, Kiss. Um, yeah, my love for this band, uh, other than the... 80s stuff or some of the 80s stuff and uh, some of the 70s none of these do it for me anymore totally uh, that that actually I'd say that this one I actually didn't even know that um, I just thought it was an extended song because it just sounded the same I was like huh? what song are we on now have we got to the end yet? Have we got to the end of the first song? No, we haven't. That's the end of the the album. <laughs> um, and I really did not like that at all. 2009's Sonic, Sonic Boom and 2012's Monster. Um, yeah. I'm sick and tired of seeing um, well just you know seeing all the stupid crap that Gene Simmons comes out with uh, some of the crap Paul Stanley talks about um, and I haven't got any connection with I don't feel any connection towards the guitarist in this band or the um, uh, the drummer so much, even though that is, who's the drummer again? It's um, that guy that's been in the band before, isn't it? Um, I think. I'll get to his name in a minute. I've forgotten it. And people will be shouting at the screen going, John, it's such and such. Um, Eric Singer, is it? get to him in a minute he's the drummer so he's at the back of the pit. yeah Eric Singer yeah obviously he's more of a long time player than uh, the guitarist remember a uh, long time member of the band I mean um, but yeah other than that that is um, it's killed it for Kiss for me really has uh, another band that I really do not care for what I see on the internet anymore or anything they release anymore. I don't even own the latest album, I don't think. No, I definitely don't. Um, because I just cannot be bothered to go out and buy. Sorry, I've got pins and needles and crap. Oh. Um, I really cannot be bothered with this band. I love the 70s, I love the 80s, and some of the 90s. Um, there's an album that came out in the noughties that I love, um, but anything now, I'm just like, oh my God. But obviously they've gone their separate ways. The guitar, the, the sisters of this band, see, I've given you a clue, um, only because uh, of a, a, an altercation 
with the uh, with the, um, the husband and the the nephew <laughs> of the singer, <laughs> um, where the husband attacked the um, the sisters or well, the nephew <laughs> of the singer. Um, yes, and that band is Heart. Um, and yes, these two albums did nothing for me. Uh, this one, nothing at all. I actually hated this. This one probably had a couple of songs on it that were alright, but nothing that would blow me away. Uh, or was it the way around? No, it was. Now this one's older. This is 2010. This is 2012. I thought this one came before. Um, really have no no desire to ever play those again. Um, and when you got a face on you like that, that really doesn't re doesn't really want entice your fans to want to be buying it when you look as miserable as shit. <laughs> um, yeah, fuck me, that's a grumpy face, isn't it? Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, anybody that's watched my videos on Heart will know that I do love this band, um, and I do have all their stuff, um, but I just got to these two albums and went, nah, that's enough for me. So yeah, um, so I won't be in any rush to be buying any more of their stuff. Uh, I've none of the songs on there connected with me, like the older stuff did. Um, so yeah, there's eight bands that really don't do it for me anymore. Um, regards and their regarding their later offerings. Um, and if anybody wants to do a thread response to this, that'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, uh, there you go, that's all I can say about those, so cheers for watching, keep rocking, keep listening to whatever it is you're listening to, and um, we'll see you soon, laters.